So you guys have been part of two Child's Play films and the show, but you guys never actually shared the screen until this season. What was that like to finally do that? Um, why don't you go first this time? <laughs> um, I We were initially pretty nervous. We rehearsed it lightly over the course of maybe two or three days before it. And then as soon as it kicked on, it suddenly felt very familiar and free. I, I was looking at somebody who I I trust a lot, right? I just felt like I couldn't mess up. Um, and then the scene itself is so celebratory of Chucky. There's so many different iterations of him in the past three decades that the whole thing just felt like some weird, fun, screwed up celebration <laughs> of, you know, an aspect of uh, of my dad's legacy. So it was it was really cool. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, um, when uh, Fiona first started out, um, we would audition together. You know, she would read with me and I would read with her. And we did all this in the living room. And, and um, after, like she says, we got over the nerves. Um, we uh, we really I felt like I was just back in my living room with somebody I knew exactly how to work with. Oh. And it, it was free and great. OK, um, and now, Brad, I've always been really fascinated with how the how the Chucky doll is operated by the puppeteers. And I did speak with Don Mancini the other week, and he said that you spent a lot of time with them while you were on set. Um, was there anything that you learned or were just surprised by, like, regarding the mechanics of the doll? Um, well, the doll is become is getting more and more sophisticated each each se each season. They do. They add a sort of um, a heavy duty electronics um, uh, thing to the doll. So the doll becomes more and more animated as the series progresses. Um, and um, they showed me all of that. Plus, the um, the crew is like the silliest group of people you have ever met in your life. Um, you know, I was introduced to um, to these uh, rubber chicken things that you could, that you put on your finger and you fire, and they have these battles constantly. And of course, I was terrible at it, and and they were all great. I mean, they could hit anything. So. Um, that went on a lot. Um, and and it was really fun to um, to really um, what I would do is um, I would do Chucky for them and they would um, they would um, do the lines and they would and I would say, you know, and here it would be really I feel like I want to do this and I feel like I want to do that. And this is how I would really follow this scene. I would look over here first and then here and then listen. And, you know, so that I tried to, you know, bring some specificity on how I would actually play this scene. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and that was a lot of fun. And Don saw some of the rehearsals and he thought it was fun too. And a good time was had by all. Great. End of story. <laughs> Okay, and um, Fiona, I feel like some of the most like emotional scenes of the series revolve around Nika, you know, way back when in season one, when you woke up with no limbs. Um, you have some really great moments this season too, especially revolving around Tiffany, like you're screaming at her. How do you like get into like that traumatized mindset of Nika and just tap into those emotions? Uh, it you know sometimes the it comes easy and then sometimes it doesn't. Uh, to be honest with you, it's it's sometimes tiring. Like you feel like you want to go home and go to sleep after. <laughs> um, um, yeah, can I can about... I add something here, Fiona? Just unless you're you have something more to say. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, when Fiona was young, she was on, you know, she, her volume was up to 11. I mean, she was a very reactive, very strong kid. And um, and she could scream. I mean, she would scream and pitch fits like no tomorrow. And I remember um, we had uh, 
uncle, her uncle, um, it was, you know, she was pitching a fit in a restaurant and he took her out into a car and she was screaming and screaming and screaming. And, and he turned to her and he said, Fiona, can't you scream any louder? And she stopped and looked at him astonished and said, I'm screaming as loud as I can. So, um, you know, I'm, as far as all that goes, she's really talented, innately talented. Yeah, I can, uh, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can scream apparently. Good I was also kind of bratty. Um, cool. You weren't a brat. No. You were just reactive. I was reactive. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you both so much. That's our time. <laughs> Have a good one. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>